dominance for the NFT marketplace is a battle. One big contender is Blur.io, a relatively new marketplace that is crushing the competitors with respect to volume. But how did they do that? What's their secret? It may not be above the line as one would think. Today I dive into Blur and why it has twice the volume of versus OpenSea and why people reply with laundry machine gifts to all of their posts. So Blur Twitter account right here was talking about this weekend they had $34 million in volume, which is surpassing OpenSea volume by 4.6 times. But this is a huge win for the Blur community, which will receive the majority of Blur token, which is their airdrop that's coming out. Reminder that you have to, you can bid on Blur to earn points for airdrop number three, and it's our final and biggest airdrop. So they're dangling the carrot as they typically do. Um, and you're seeing that if you make bids or you sell or you buy on Blur, you're going to get rewarded. So no, 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 no crap, right? Like, no shit. You're, look at this. Uh, Blur exchange huge it's this blue one and all of a sudden boom <clears throat> and then why are people just replying with washing machines pangu uh lot, lots of uh lots of speculation and here you go here's one reply to it love the platform but these volumes are a farce would be a huge win for the space if you guys can figure out how to disqualify wash traders and send the right message blurred bids didn't do not incentivize wash trader look at this guy you are proud of these wash tradings LOL, Blur does not incentivize wash trades, friends. So let's take a quick look here before I jump into this tweet, what the airdrops are for. So you can see here that the airdrops are for uh, Blur token airdrop one, which is already completed. They got another one coming up here. This is airdrop two. I believe that's going to be done soon if it isn't already. And then they put a little bit of an announcement. Uh, P.S. We found some legitimate traders were caught in wash trading filters. We're going to update the filter. So now this is... Um, the largest blur token airdrop. So this is number three that's rolling. You can kind of see who's who's in the leaderboard. Um, interesting to see who's up there. Yeah, a bunch of whales. So sometimes you might wonder why blur is doing this. So if we look back into, I think this was from February when Looks Rare came out, another NFT marketplace. They did a vampiric attack. So basically what they did is they said anybody that traded on OpenSea, Everything's on the blockchain so you can see it. We're going to give you a whole bunch of looks tokens and you can stake them and make a bunch of money. People can make a ton of money off this. And you can see right when they started off, this is uh, January 11th and then January 12th, looks rare volume crushed OpenSea because they were getting some rewards for the trading on this on the platform. And you know what? It looks kind of like the same here. You're seeing blur uh, this one right here. It's this hu these huge candles uh, open staking over OpenSea. We, c we cover it in the crypto market summary, which we do at the end of the sh show every day. Um, and you can see why. You can see the numbers. It's crazy. One thing to note here is despite this decline in trading volume, OpenSea maintains the majority share of NFT sales, 52%, and unique daily users, 68%. Open OpenSea remains the on-ramp for NFT users. And Blur itself, Blur itself has only just created the volume, but I it's a lot of watch trading, it looks like. Look at this. You can see OpenSea is the dark blue. This is daily unique users. Blur is not using a whole bunch. Maybe they got a bunch of whales. They're just doing the ones that are just playing the system. Here's an interesting one for you to look at. During the last 96 hours, Blur has done a whole bunch more volume than OpenSea. The most fascinating data point is that 200 wallets generated over 75% of Blur's volume compared to 27% of OpenSea's. Blur's just kind of doing one of these right now. Let's go take a look and see what they're saying about all this. So they're saying when someone accepts an active bid, that bid st stops earning points for airdrop number three. This incentive scheme was carefully designed as so not to incentivize wash traders, and we've seen some organic volume increase due to liquidity, improved liquidity. I don't know. I don't know. Over and over and over again, it's just for the past three days, we've seen the same NFTs getting bought and sold to the same ETH address very well, very organic. Listen, there's some funky stuff going on in there. That is what it is. You know, I'm sure they've taken notes from previous airdrops. You can see all that kind of stuff. But let's let's take a look and see what Punk9059 does, NFT statistics. All right. So so volumes were strong again today. You know, you had 25,000 ETH of NFT volume. But we have the same story where a pretty average day with just a ton of airdrop farming. I think... Ton of airdrop farming, exactly. See, like this guy, he's he's with Proof. Uh, he got hired by Proof to do all their uh, statistics. Uh, awesome account. And like I, another thing, I tweeted there were ninety eight board API club trades. That's the most in the past six months. You've never had ninety eight trades since basically the other D drop. But eighty five of them were on Blur. All those. 
85 of them were on Blur. 85 of the 90 whatever bl- uh, Bored Apes trades were on Blur, and all of those paid it's zero royalties. And all tended to be airdrop farming. And all tended to be airdrop farming, and they dropped the floor. So that's interesting because now what happens with Bendow where people collateralize their Bored Ape. Uh, we have a video of that. I can post it up here. And they get ETH out of it. So they basically put their board eight for, up for collateral. They take a loan out and they use the ETH. And then if they get liquidated at a certain price. The floor went down. So I think anytime you look at volume charts, you have to be careful right now because uh, this airdrop farming is just causing a lot of volume. So listen, this is just how the ecosystem works. You're going to see this stuff happen all the time. Um, this is just people. This is competition. It's an open market. It's a little bit of the wild, wild west still. At the end of the day, Blur.io's is really quick. That's a trading platform is what it's meant for. It's really nice. They've optimized everything for it. And uh, unfortunately, we're just seeing some skew in the in the volume of data. So does it change things? It could change the floor prices, which can affect uh, some people. But, you know, something to be aware of. And just try not to get caught up in it. And... Not financial advice, not legal advice, but make sure you check out the rules for wash trading. I don't know if that's legal either. We're going to jump into that crypto market summary. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. If not, beat it. Pretty easy. Uh, so what we're seeing here is ETH price coming up, but uh, it's only $3 billion up in the total coin market cap. You can see that right there. Uh, Red mic is not confirmed. That is supposed to be green one. Um... Yeah, so ETH came up, man. It hit 1150. That was a good time to buy, of course. Um, interesting to see. It's over 1200. So what's going on in shit coins? So shit coins here. We got Ethereum. We got two millions, two million in volume in shit coins for Ethereum. And what do we got going on here? Mud treat. Nothing really funny going on in there. Always trying to find. The next meme, you could almost just take these as the memes of the day. 7.9 million in BNB. Yep. Okay, there's some money in that one. I don't know. 6.4 in Dodge, Doge Cash. Hmm, crazy. Okay. Marketplace volumes, we're seeing that uh, we're just a little over yesterday. We're at $28 million for the day, uh, led by Blur again, which is pretty much the whole video that we've talked about today. Um,. Commodity prices, what are we seeing here? Again, we're seeing WTI up. Uh, Western Canadian Select is kind of flat. Uh, pretty flat. It looks like prices are coming down a little bit. Uh, bonds, you know, the b- yield rates are going back up. It's interesting to see. So the 10-year climbed up. The two years kind of just bouncing around, but that gap still at 0.6. We're still inverted. It's interesting to see how the market is reacting to Powell's speech at the FOMC the other day. Um, that's kind of what we're seeing. And then what is, what's happening with the floor price of these, uh, indexes of this index that we have. So it's basically flat. It's, this is the sum of the floor price of all the different, uh, NFT projects we're looking at. We're up one ETH. So some up, some down, uh, lots of those other, uh, CK Jennies. Yeah. The cyber Kongs ecosystem is coming up here. They're, they're building some hype. Um, they've had some announcements in there. They're going to be releasing a new collection. That's pretty interesting. Rug Genesis 0.29. Damn. It's almost time to buy one. I just, do I, I'm waiting for a rec guy. I got, I think, 0.65 left. 0.65, I'd buy another rec guy for sure. But I almost kind of want to get into some of this, I think. Or, sorry, into the Rug Radios. I want some of their NFTs. Their Corey Van Leeuwen ones. Cyber Kong Baby's up as well. Those are those are coming good. So, anyways, that's what we're seeing today in the crypto world. Take care. Uh, have a good day, and we will see you again tomorrow.